Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Royal Family. In the last episode, we got to see some of the custom content that I got for The Royal Family of Willow Creek. We also focused a lot on the toddlers in each of the four kingdoms. We got to meet them all. We even aged up Princess Meghan and Prince Michael from The Royal Family of Oasis Springs. So we got to definitely focus a lot on toddlers. In this episode, we are going to age up Princess Amira. I switched their lifespan from long to normal. So that kind of made all of the toddlers kind of age up around the same time, or at least that's what it says. Their birthdays are gonna be around the same time. Since Princess Amira is the oldest, I wanna make sure there's still a good amount of days in between each of the Sims aging up, if that makes sense. So she is going to be aged up first. So technically her birthday is in, I think, two or three Sim days, but we're going to have her birthday party today. Before we begin today's episode, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so you're notified when we post a new video. Don't forget to follow us on social media and let's go ahead and begin today's episode. So to start with, I have just kind of been really hesitant to age up Princess Amira. Just just because I wasn't sure. So I was even hesitant to make their lifespan from long to normal. So I've just been painting a bunch of portraits of Princess Amira just because I want to remember her as much as possible. So this is the third one we've been painting. I think this one is probably the winner. This one seemed a little bit washed out. And then this one just kind of seemed a little far away and I didn't like the color of the chair. So I just decided to kind of make the chair purple, scoot it a little bit closer. I think this one really is the winner. I mean, that one is super, super cute. And she's actually like, she doesn't look too serious in that one. You can see her gorgeous light blue slash gray eyes. She has her mother's eyes, I think. Well, actually, no, I think she does have her father's eyes. She's a little bit closer to looking like her father than her mother. So it could be her father's eyes. But her mother also has these gray eyes, if you can kind of see. So she could have her mother's eyes too. I should probably check. But I think this one is the winner. I don't think we need any more portraits of her. This is probably probably good enough. I love these. I'll, I'll place these later, but for now, I'm just kind of gonna keep these here. I do like this one a lot too. This one does seem really, really bright though. Like it does seem a little washed out. I'm not sure how I feel about that stylized part of it, but I think this is good enough. I'm debating if I do wanna take a picture or two. Maybe I'll do that just really quickly because I just want to take advantage of her and how cute she is because she's adorable. She's this adorable little toddler and I love her a lot. Although we did find out in the last episode that she is a bit of a spoiled little princess for sure. She was not getting along very well with her sweet, sweet cousin, Princess Belle from Willow Creek. Princess Belle is just one of the sweetest little princesses and she was not getting along very well with Princess Amira. Also Princess Amira, she was making a huge mess and she was just kind of terrorizing everything. She was making all of these messes in the castles that weren't hers, like all of her relatives' castles. So I think she is going to be a little bit spoiled. She kind of thinks she can get away with things. She's the oldest too, so I feel like it makes sense. She's probably not, like she was, she had all of the attention on her because she was the first royal baby of, of this generation. So she had all of the attention on her and now all of the attention has gone to all of her younger siblings and her younger cousins. So I think she's going to be a little bit spoiled for sure, but I mean, she's still, she's beautiful. We still love her. We'll see how far this little spoiled attitude goes. I'm not 100% sure yet. Hopefully she won't turn into a mean princess, but you kind of never know with their personalities. I might try to make her kind of random for her traits when she ages up. I'm not 100% sure yet. I do have to decide very soon though, because that is going to happen in just a moment. So I'm going to have King Henry start our social event for the birthday party. He's going to be the one to invite everyone over. I'll, oh, and while he's doing that, oh no, Princess May, she's also making a mess. Ah, no, wait, go back. Oh, shoot, okay. Well, I don't want that mess there when everyone comes over, but all right, let's do this really quick. So we'll do the birthday party. We'll make it a gold event. Our birthday sim is Princess Amira. And then we have all of our guests. So her family, of course, we'll do We'll invite Queen Nina. We'll invite, should we invite Sir Marshall? We probably should. King Jared. I don't know how much room we have though. 
I want to invite Prince Adrian. Why are you dressed like that? You better not come to our party dressed like that. We, of course, want to invite Princess Cora, Princess Belle for sure, and her aunt, or this would be Princess Amira's great aunt, Marquis Eliza, and then Prince Jack and Prince Louis, who apparently are wearing the same outfit. And then we have Princess Anna, of course, Sir Franklin and Sir Matt. Oh, nope, that is uh, Prince Henry or King Henry's cousin. So I guess we won't invite them, that's okay. I feel like there was someone else that I was missing that I wanted to invite. I think that might be it. I can't invite just like one of the cousins though. I guess I'll invite Queen Arya, might as well. And then we want to have a caterer, even though we have a butler who could probably, actually caterers are kind of useless. Whatever, I'll invite one anyway. They take forever to get here though. Like I forgot at this place, at this castle, it takes forever for them to get here. It's insane. It's just, uh, we need to kind of make the birthday parties even a little bit longer for this palace, just because the lot is so big. And for some reason they spawn like, so far away they have to just run to get here but i might as well just add the party here we've had all of our birthday parties here i think that it would make sense for us to host it so i'll just do that and then they are i guess going to change into their party dresses oh yeah and then we have to clean this up because we cannot have this while our guests are here do not do this i think the king and queen are just sick and tired of them making these messes now so at this point, I think we're going to be strict because they should know better. They really should. If they're princesses and prince and princes, prince, uh, because we only have one prince, then they should really know better. Their parents have tried to teach them well. They're trying so hard to teach them to be good and to be responsible. So at this point, they're fed up. They're not going to go easy on them anymore when they make messes. They're just going to yell at them now. It looks like she has gained responsibility, though. Oh, I forgot. I don't know if you guys have seen their their party dresses you might have i i'm not 100 percent sure about this one but i mean she's gonna age up anyway so i guess it doesn't matter i i have downloaded a lot of well not a lot it feels like a lot because i've been shopping for hours for custom content for kids i think i have a good amount of custom content for the kids so hopefully when we play around with her outfits when she becomes a child we'll get to see if it is enough or not Hopefully it is because I feel like I've been shopping for them forever. I also realized a bunch of my mods are not showing up. Like I got the baby shower mod and the funeral mod, but I don't know if it's just because like no one's died oh. or no one's pregnant. Maybe that's why it's not showing up or no one's a teenager because I got the graduation mod too. But when I asked him to plan a social event, none of that came up as an option. So it is probably because I don't have anyone that qualifies for those events, but I thought it would show it anyway, but I guess not. But even then, I don't, I haven't even tried the master control center mod because I don't know how to do it or I don't know where to go for it. So you guys, please tell me. I'm sure there's something I could read for it too, so I, should, I could do that anyway, but I just couldn't figure it out. So hopefully I'll be able to figure it out soon. Oh my gosh, Princess Amir. Oh no, does she smell? Do we need to give her a, sh a bath? I think we do. Do we have time to give her a bath? Let's just do it like really, really quickly. All right, our guests are arriving, it looks like. We need to go greet them. So I'm gonna have Princess or Queen Alice go greet our guests. It looks like Queen Nina is wearing her crown. I forgot to put our crown on Princess or Queen Alice. Oh my gosh, I still do that. On Queen Alice. Can everyone, can you guys come in? Because I don't know why you're standing out here in the rain. This is Marquis Eliza. She looks like them she looks like princess alice and princess cora that's definitely where they got their looks from and then princess anna you can come inside i don't know why you're not coming inside come on uh i can't invite them in can i where are the rest of our guests are they running they are oh my gosh because they're celebrities they are walking so slow but guys look at Princess Cora, she is gorgeous. This is her party outfit. I don't know if I show that to you guys, but that's her party outfit. It's super sparkly and glittery and she has her princess crown on too. She looks amazing. This is like a red carpet walk, but in the rain. But she, they all look so fabulous. They're all walking like they're movie stars. I don't know why Prince Adrian, he looks super upset though. I'm not sure why. Okay, why is Princess Amir? She was, okay, she was sad for a second, but she's not anymore. So we're giving her a bath, and then we need to change her back into her party outfit. And Prince Kellen's sad because he has a dirty diaper. So I guess we have to also bathe him. 
I wasn't planning on bathing all the kids. I probably should have done that before. I, we didn't even really need to bathe Princess Amira because she's aging up in a second anyway. But that's okay. We might as well have. Honestly, I think her little everyday outfit is good enough. She's so cute. Look at her walk. Look at her waddle. Oh my gosh. I'm actually, I am excited to see her as a child to see what she's going to look like. So I think we do need to make sure we have the birthday cake ready though, because that is always a huge issue with my games. So I don't know if anyone's tried to make a birthday cake yet. It doesn't look like they have. It looks like Princess Anna and Marky Eliza are just down here to check if there's birthday cake, but maybe we should have Queen Alice start making one because we're already halfway through the party. So I'm gonna have her teleport down here actually because we need to get a birthday cake ASAP. This is my point though. Like it's so pointless to have a caterer if you're not even like, I don't know. They're, I don't know where they are and they don't even start making the cake in time. So I feel like we might as well just cook the cake. It's okay. I guess, I guess our king and queen can be good at baking cakes because we've had to do it so many times. It doesn't look like, oh yeah, oh no. Okay, Queen Alice is only cooking level two. So I don't know how good this cake is gonna turn out, but hopefully it turns out okay because we don't want, I don't think she'll burn down the house if she's on cooking level two. I think, I, I think they only do that on cooking level one but hopefully they don't do it on cooking level two. Gosh, look at Princess Cora. I'm so obsessed with her, guys. She's my favorite. I can't get over it. Even though I don't think her crown, like the color, I think the stone should be a little bit darker to match her dress a little better. But when she is queen, she's gonna have that gorgeous, huge blue crystalled crown and, or sapphire, I guess. And it's gonna look amazing with this dress, I think. I think she's going to look Awesome, so I'm super excited to see that. I think that King Derek and Queen Elena still have a lot of life left in them though. I do know that King, uh, what's his name? King Easton from Oasis Springs, he is, now that we've changed the lifespan to normal, he's pretty much at the end of his life now. So I don't know when he's gonna pass away, but it's probably gonna be pretty soon. But I think that Queen Arya of Oasis Springs still does have a lot of life left in her. So I don't know how soon Prince Adrian and Princess Lindsay are going to become king and queen, but I guess we will just see. It looks like Princess May is watching a ghost play piano. The entertainer is a ghost? I didn't know that they could do that. I don't really want her entertainer to be a ghost, but Princess May seems like super okay with this though. She's not scared or anything. So that's probably a good thing. All right, is our cake ready yet though? Oh, Princess Amir is like looking up to her aunt. Okay, King, what are you, what is going on? Why are you, do you need to mop the floor? Mop it really quickly and then get back. Can you not mop it because the tub's in the way? Oh shoot, all right, I'm gonna have to fix that later. But I do need Princess Amira, who's just standing here by herself. Oh gosh, this is like the last she's gonna be of a toddler. I'm taking so many screenshots because she's just, oh, she's so cute. I love that hair and I love that dress with it too. I think it looks really good. Oh no, are you serious? They already ate the cake. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, we need to cook a cake really quickly before we run out of time. I think that we have, I don't, I think that was the butler. I don't think that was the caterer, but oh my gosh, seriously, they already started eating the cake? Guys, calm yourself. You guys must have been starving. I need to watch this more because this was, okay, it looks like our caterer is also making something, but that does not look like cake. Yeah, come on, Queen Alice, we've, we've got to cook this cake. Everyone else is, you need to, you need to move people. This is not okay, guys. You're not supposed to eat downstairs in the kitchen. You're supposed to eat at our grand table. Who's not feeling well? King Jared is not feeling well. He had stars around his head, but hopefully he's okay. I don't see any spots on him or anything. He's smiling, so it does look like he's doing fine. So Queen Alice, are you still making the cake? Is it going well? Wait, oh, wait, wait, no, where are you going? <gasps> wait. Stop it. No, continue making the cake. We are almost out of time. We need to blow out these candles. It looks like the party's going to be pretty successful any bit anyway, but we still need to blow out these candles. I, I don't think we're gonna make it, guys. Oh my gosh, I don't even understand why I do a birthday party. Exactly, it's over. This is over. <laughs> no one's gonna see her blow out the candles except for us. <sighs> and now the caterer is making the cake. Great timing. That is, that's perfect, that's awesome, okay. We are not going to let anybody eat this. We are going to put this in our inventory and we are going to bring it to the table and we're going to bring Princess Amira to blow out this candle. Even though the party's pretty much over, but that is okay. 
We're still going to have our age up. So we are going to... Oh, nope. I need to... Why can't I... Oh, right. I need to put the birthday candles on first. So I'm going to have her do that. Let's see. How far did Princess Amira have before she was going to age up? It should be only a few days now. So her sibling... I think Princess May might be next to age up. And then the triplets of Oasis Springs are next to age up. So Princess Amira has two days left to age up. And I think the triplets were supposed to also have two days left to age up. So it's a little bit confusing. I think Princess May is supposed to be next, though. I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And then also Prince Johan of Brindleton Bay is supposed to age up next. Oh my gosh, this is all happening so fast. I didn't even think about this. This is a little bit too fast, guys. I was not expecting them all to age up at once. All right, we need to age up Sim. Wait, what? No, wait, what? Is it because Princess Amira is in bed? No, we need to age you up, Princess Amira. Do I, if I have Princess Amira interact with the cake, will she be able to blow it out or age up Sim? Ask to help blow out candles. Okay, ask your mother to help you blow out the candles. Okay, so her mother is helping her blow out the candles. Look at her strut with her child in her hand. That is so funny. Which ghost is this? This is King Kellen of Windenburg. So that is who our Prince Kellen is named after. Okay, she's aging up. Ah! She is just, she's so, so cute, guys. Okay, here she goes. She's aging up. All right, Princess Amira has earned two mental, two motor, two social, and two creativity. And she was clingy. I forgot about that. So I think that she's going to be a social sim, a social child anyway. So she's going to be a social butterfly. And then we are also going to have her be, let's see, cheerful, creative, hot-headed, music lover, perfectionist, neat dog lover. I didn't even know you could have all of these for the kids. Lazy, squeamish, loves outdoors, vegetarian, loner, good, outgoing, mean, evil, insider. Is she mean? I don't think she's mean yet. Not as a child. I don't want her to be mean, guys. I should have picked a random one. She might be hot-headed. She, like, when she doesn't get her way, she could be hot-headed. Or I feel like the jealous trait would probably be a little bit better, though. Also, why can't she have the jealous trait as a child? I feel like that's pretty, like, accurate for her. She could be an insider, but then again, she's just a child. I don't, I don't think she's evil. I think she would be hot-headed. So she's got a short temper. So I think that makes a good amount of sense for her. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's adorable. This is a custom content hair too. So we're actually going to go ahead and change her outfit and everything. So I don't usually have you guys see this, but I think it'll be fun for you guys to see it just this time. Okay. So this is Princess Amira. So I'm going to start with her hair. So I don't, I don't know how much custom content hair I got. This one's really pretty. She has her hair up. That one's really pretty too. I, I oh no, that, oh my gosh, guys. That, I've never seen anything that looks like that. That's awful. All right, her hair's not curly or neither of her parents are. So I don't think that would be it. Oh, <gasps> guys. I like this one a lot. This one is for sure Princess Belle, her cousin's hair, because she already has that hair as a toddler. This one's pretty too. This one's <laughs> it's very pretty. That Oh, this kind of looks like her hair that she had when she was a toddler. <gasps> I don't, uh, I don't know about the little bun part in the back though. I wish we had like a bow or something I could put back there. I don't know what else we have. I definitely have way more, oh, nope. I definitely have way more girl custom content hair than for the boys. I will probably just end up getting more. I want something similar to what she had as a toddler. So maybe I, I will keep, I'm debating between that one and that one. I do really like this a lot. But her hair had some waves to it, sort of, when she was a toddler, too. So, ah, uh, well, let's, let's start with this. Because, you know, she just got, she's just turned into a child, so her hair wouldn't be, like, that long yet, if we're thinking realistically. But I want to also find a few dresses for her, too. I don't know, I don't remember how many dresses we got for her, or for, like, custom content. I, let's see, okay, it looks like these are it. So that's more of a, more of a hot weather dress, not so much for the everyday outfit for her. This one's really pretty. <gasps> I like that one a lot. This one is that, ooh, that's also really, really nice. There's this one. 
that clearly doesn't work. She has no, no body. So there's this one too. That one's a little shorter, but that one's really cute. I, I don't know. I, I do like that one. This one does look a little formal and this one looks like party. So I think that's what we're gonna do. I think we're going to do this for her everyday outfit. And then I need to find some cute little shoes for her too. I feel like she'd probably, they'd probably, especially since it's that short, like the dresses, they'd probably make her wear some tights with it. So I'm gonna do some white tights with the, uh, let's see, are these shoes? Mm, I don't know how I feel about those. I don't think I have, ooh, those are cute. Those work, yeah, those totally work. Okay, so this is her everyday outfit. And then we need to have a formal outfit for her. And oh, oh, tiaras. We have tiaras, I think, for the kids. Oh, and we do have bows. Oh, wait, does that work though? I don't know if that's gonna work. Wait, what? What happened? Ah, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't look like that's working. Yeah, I do not know what's happening with that. So I just want her tiaras. Maybe I should just turn on the custom content. Okay, so that's the only thing, apparently. So where are the accessories? I just wanna find their crowns. Ooh, is that the only one? Wait, I thought there were more. Oh shoot, did she have a pink crown or a purple crown? I think she had a pink one because her younger sister has the purple one. Okay, so she has a pink crown, so I need to just change the color of this really quickly. So we'll go with pink. Oh wait, yeah. That, that's more pink. Okay, so I think her dress needs to be more pink too. I think this one is good for formal, for sure. That one works. Oh, that's so, so pretty, guys. I love this a lot. I'm so in love with this. Okay, and then I want her to wear just the flats. And then I, I still think she would have tights on, so we're going to do this with tights. Oh my gosh, this is really pretty. Although, uh, there are some other formal dresses. Like, uh, those are pretty, but I th think just because these are custom content and they're new, like the ones that come with the game are still pretty nice, but I think this one is also really nice. Oh yeah, she totally looks like a princess. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And then for her formal or for her athletic outfit, just do something like that maybe. Although pink's supposed to be her color. So I'll do this with some real nice, uh, let's see, I want to do some sort of pink. There we go, all right. So I don't know about her hair being up like that though. I think her hair should probably, maybe we'll do some two braids. I think that works. Okay, and then we're going to do her sleep outfit. I did get some cute nightgowns. I thought I did anyway. I don't know where, I thought I got some cute pajamas for her. Let's do custom content. Okay, this is like a little nightgown. I thought this was really cute. I, oh, oh, no, that's not as pink as I thought it was though. Is that a night, it is a nightgown, right? That's totally a nightgown. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, I mean, I would never have her wear that in public or anything. So I think, I think this is fine for a nightgown. I wish it was just a little bit pinker, but I think it should be okay for now. And then we're going to do her party outfit. There's a really cute dress that I liked for her party outfit. I want to do, I need to get rid of the party filter. I, okay, so I think there's this and then there's this. That one's also really pretty, but that could also be an outdoor outfit, but so could that. Oh my gosh, there's so many to choose from, guys. I, I think we're gonna go with this. It's a little bit more pink to it, so I think we're going to choose that one. And I'm gonna do some cute little pink flats with it too. And then also have her hair, or not her hair, also have her have tights on. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna put her tights on with this. So then that's her party outfit. She's so cute, guys. I like her a lot. I do think I'm gonna end up changing her hair. But that's okay, I think we can do that later. So I am going to just from now on be shopping for all of the custom content for kids because I had so many for the toddlers and now I'm gonna have them all for kids. So I'm super excited to do that. Okay, so I did have the outdoor one in mind. I like this one, I think, yeah. This one is good for her hot weather outfit. So I think we're gonna have her wear the, or no, I think I'm gonna have her wear her flats again, but no stockings with this one. And then we're going to do, I definitely don't have any custom content for cold weather. So I think we'll just go with like this. Oh no, I think those are more kind of boyish probably. 
I don't know if I'd have her wear jeans. Can I just have her like wear all pink? I think that'd be fine. Maybe some light pink. Yeah. Have a little bit of a contrast going. And these boots are also super, super cute. Do we need all pink though? Should we do white? Oh no, but the pink looked really good. I think I'm gonna do pink. I think that's okay. So I think we'll do the pink boots and then I'm gonna give her some cute little gloves to go with her outfit as well. So we'll do little white gloves so it's not completely pink. So yeah, this is her. This is Princess Amira. She's so cute. I'm still not 100% sure about this dress because it is a little bit short, but since she has the tights on, I think it's okay. But like even this, this is really pretty. For the party though, I don't know if she should wear her tiara for the party. I don't think so. Uh, they were wearing it before though. Yeah, okay, I'll have her wear her tiara for the party outfit too. But other than that, I they definitely don't need it for every day. So I think just the party and formal wear is okay. So I think we're good for her. She's really cute, guys. She's really pretty. I love her. She, I don't think she really looks like her aunts, Princess Cora and Princess Amira when they were kids. I think she does look a little bit different. I, I might have to go back and try to find pictures of her aunts when they were kids just to check. But yeah, okay, so this is Princess Amira. So we have her outfits all chosen. I'm definitely going to get some more custom content outfits for our other royal kids when they grow up because we're just going to have to choose so many outfits for them. And I had so much toddler custom content too. So, oh my goodness, this is just going to be a lot. But I do want Princess Amira to join a club. I think there is still the kids club right now. And I did download the mod where they could add more club members, but I don't, I don't, I, I don't know if it's working. Like it doesn't seem to be showing up because I tried to test it out on a different club, but it didn't seem to work that well. So, okay, we do have the kids club. How many people are, oh, there's a lot of people in here still. Oh gosh, she's going to meet all of these people. And it looks like, most of them, I'm going to have to change their outfits because I don't know what half of them are wearing. Then again, that just could be that ridiculous outfit that no one knows what occasion it's for. So Princess Amira has joined the kids club. That's awesome. So I think we're going to end this episode here, but in the next episode, I'm definitely going to have her hang out with the kids club a little bit. I think the episodes are definitely going to be a little bit more focused on the kids from now on, but we will of course still come back to the adults. There isn't just too much going on with the adults. I think the only exciting things in the future will be when they become king and queen. Like Princess Cora still needs to become queen of Willow Creek and of of course, Prince Edmund needs to become king, and then Prince Adrian and Princess Lindsay need to become king and queen of Oasis Springs. So we do still have some time left, but for now, it's going to be focusing on the kids. So yeah, so for the next episode, we'll focus on Princess Amira becoming friends with all of her kids club's members. We get to meet a bunch of the new members too, but we also are probably going to age up Princess May and Prince Johan of Brindleton Bay soon as well. We're going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of Princess Amira's outfits and the way she looks, and if we chose the right trait for her too, with her being hot-headed. I think she would definitely be a little bit spoiled, has a little bit of a temper, probably get set off a little easily. We'll kind of see how that goes with her social interactions and all of that, but I'm definitely interested and excited to see how the kids turn out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so you're notified when we post our new episodes, and we will see you guys in the next video.